Hi, my name is Joy Lake. When I was a teenager many years ago, someone told me Proverbs has 31 chapters in it, so it was like the days of the month. They said as part of their devotions each day, they read a chapter in Proverbs and a chapter in Psalms. I decided to break up the Psalms into monthly segments to coincide with the Proverbs. It takes five months to read through Psalms the way I mapped it out for myself, and I chose to keep Psalm 119 whole. So that day's devotional reading will be much longer than usual, but it'll be worth it. I also chose to put a psalm as the 31st and the 1st on some to get the division to balance out at the end of the fifth month. I hope you enjoy reading a psalm and a proverb each day with me. I'm using the NLT version because it's my coloring Bible and I love it. You can start wherever you want. I usually see what today's date is and start there. You can start with month one and go straight through all five months, or pick any month and loop back around when you get to the end. And remember, if something I read doesn't sit well with you, talk to God about it. He wants to speak to you whenever you want to visit with him, especially when your heart and mind don't agree with him or understand his viewpoint. He loves spending time with you. He created you. He loves you. Let's begin. Proverbs chapter 7. Follow my advice, my son. Always treasure my commands. Obey my commands and live. Guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes. Tie them on your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. Let them protect you from an affair with an immoral woman, from listening to the flattery of a promiscuous woman. While I was at the window of my house looking through the curtain, I saw some naive young men and one in particular who lacked common sense. He was crossing the street near the house of an immoral woman, strolling down the path by her house. It was at twilight in the evening as deep darkness fell. The woman approached him, seductively dressed and sly of heart. She was the brash, rebellious type, never content to stay at home. She is often in the streets and markets, soliciting at new every corner. She threw her arms around him and kissed him, and with a brazen look, she said, I've just made my peace offerings and fulfilled my vows. You are the one I was looking for. I came out to find you, and here you are. My bed is spread with beautiful blankets, with colored sheets of Egyptian linen. I've perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy each other's caresses, for my husband is not home. He's away on a long trip. He has taken a wallet full of money with him and won't return until later this month. So she seduced him with her pretty speech and enticed him with her flattery. He followed her at once like an ox going to the slaughter. It was like a stag caught in a trap, awaiting the arrow that would pierce its heart. It was like a bird flying into a snare, little knowing it would cost him his life. So listen to me, my sons, and pay attention to my words. Don't let your heart stray away toward her. Don't wander down her wayward path. For she has been the ruin of many. Many men have been her victims. Her house is the road to the grave. Her bedroom is the den of death. Psalm chapter 7. I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done wrong or am guilty of injustice, if I have betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for creating us. Thank you for wanting to spend time with us. Please help us to trust and obey you. Please open our eyes and our hearts 
to you and your word. And please help us understand when we don't understand what you're saying or we don't like what you're saying. Pray, Lord, that you would give us your insight and your holiness as we try to understand and that you would give us discernment and wisdom as we try to understand your heart, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.